Alright, g'day guys, my name is Daniel from The Fishing Guru um, and today we're just going to quickly show you how to make a bottle cap lure. Um, here's a couple we prepared earlier, but this one here essentially is what we're going to show you how to make today. These are a great novelty item more than anything, they look great behind the bar. Um, I've given them out to a few mates, apparently they work really well on the red fin as well. Um, but personally I, I just think they look excellent on the bar. So. It's really, really easy to make. You just need a couple of uh, basic components before you get started. So first of all, you, you need to get yourself a bottle cap. So most importantly, that's obviously the, the best bit. All right, and make sure you enjoy whatever the bottle cap comes off of as well. So just hold on to that. All right, so aside from the bottle cap, you do need a couple of basic tools. You need a couple of pairs of pliers. So. I like to use needle nose pliers and also some flat pliers as well. It just makes the job a little bit easier. You can get away with just the flat pliers, but the needle nose you'll see in a second um, does actually help to, to gear it up. It also helps if you have a pair of split ring pliers. Um, once again, you can get away without them, but it just makes everything a little bit easier and a lot smoother to, to make it yourself. You also need something to punch a couple of holes into the bottle cap now. We make a lot of these as a, as a charity fundraiser for a local charity here in South Australia called Backpacks of SA Kids. So I've actually gone out and invested in a special punch. If you don't have one of those, I don't expect many of you guys would. You can also use just a standard nail punch and a hammer or also a cordless drill uh, with a small drill bit, normally about one or two millimetres. So, all right, they're both available as well. They're nice and easy to get your hands on uh, and they'll both do the job nicely. So it's really simple. To make, your, um, to make your lure. Basically from your bottle cap, you wanna pick which part of the cap itself is gonna be the top. So I'm working on the pattern here and I'm actually gonna use the top of the triangle of the pattern as the top of my lure. Just get your needle nose pliers and just bend it out a little bit. And what that actually does is that helps you to guide the cap when you're folding it in half and make sure that it folds in the right place. And normally 90% of the time, it'll be nice and straight as well. On the exact opposite end, you also want to do the same thing for the bottom of the cap, just like that. Okay, so it's really simple. Inside, this is completely optional, but I like to put a little ball sinker. So I believe it's a double zero size ball sinker. What that does is it provides a little bit of weight to the lure, um, but it also provides a rattle as well when it's working. So if you are going to use them and they're not just going to um, make your bar look nice and pretty, then the, the red fin apparently go nuts over that rattle. So all you have to do then is simply fold the lure in half and it's, bear with us guys, it's a little bit difficult to do on the angle for the camera, all right? But you just fold the lure in half and then with your flat pliers, you just flatten the ends, all right? Just like that. And I'll do the same with the other end as well. Okay, just like that. And you'll notice in a second, I don't know how good our mic is today, but it's got that rattle in there and apparently the fish go absolutely bunter over that one. So what we need to do now is we need to punch a hole in each end for the split ring and for the uh, the hook itself. So I'm gonna use my punch today just because it's easy, but once again, you can use a nail punch or also a, uh, a cordless drill with a, just a small drill bit on it. So just like that one there. Okay, now I like to flatten it out a little bit as well, otherwise it doesn't actually move properly if it's sort of all askew. And then it's really simple from here, guys. All right, so you'll see that we've just grabbed a, a treble hook. Now this one's dollied up a little bit, but a standard treble hook will do as well. Otherwise, uh, like a size 1.0 uh, claw hook or a circle hook would be sufficient as well for the job. So I'll just grab my split ring pliers. I don't know how difficult this is to see, so I do apologize. All right, and then we'll just put that on what I want it to be the bottom end. That's it, nice and easy. And then we just need one on the top end so that we can fix it to your line or leader or snap swivel or whichever you're trying to hook it up with. And that's it. It's as easy as it is. It's nice and simple design. Like I said, they are an excellent novelty item. They do look great behind the bar, um, but absolutely give them a shot for the red fin or the, the trout or the brim or the mullet. They, um, they, I have had them hit personally. I don't tend to use them. I like to go for the, uh, 
you know, like, I'm a big fan of the Rapalas and stuff instead, but you know, how everyone for their own, but they do look really cool. And if you come over here for a second, Bjorn, you'd actually see we, a couple we prepared earlier. So um, just remember, you don't necessarily need to use the treble hooks, guys. So on these first two here, we've actually used just a simple 1-0 claw hook. And then on the Cooper's parallel one, we've actually got a, a double hook there. Um, and they'll all work just as well as, as each other. So that's it. Thank you very much guys and uh, yeah, have fun, go nuts and uh, yeah, thanks for listening. <laughs>